Hey guys, in today's video, we'll see the continuation of the story Lost Angel's final episode. Zeno sent his powers to Goku with the sole purpose of entertaining himself, but Goku has a great mission to save humanity, and for that he will have to defeat the most powerful angel, the evil angel Khan. Will he succeed? This is the last episode of this great saga, and you'll see everything now having said all that. I ask you to leave a lot of likes and comments if you want the continuation of the story. That done? Then grab your popcorn and your soda and let's see this amazing story. In the 13th Universe Currently in the 13th Universe, it was possible to see that all the angels present were prepared for combat, as everyone was worried about Khan who had not returned so far, and not only that, the angels discovered that there was a god of destruction roaming the universes, helping the other gods of destruction in the battles against the angels. This god of destruction that was wandering through the universes was easily beating all the angels, and to make matters worse, the angel Icarus had been defeated by that same god of destruction. In the place where the angels were, it was possible to see Monica inside her mother's room. Monica and her mother were talking at the moment. Monica said, May, I don't feel Icarus's power anymore, and Khan's power is much weaker than when he performed that ritual to strengthen it. I heard rumors that Icarus had been defeated by a mysterious god of destruction, and I'm sure that rumor is true. And besides, I'm sure that Khan was defeated by the mortal who claimed to possess Zeno's powers, spoke the angel while looking at her mother, who was sitting quietly as if everything that was happening was part of her plan. Sonia said, Don't worry, my daughter. Khan's defeat and Icarus's death won't make the slightest difference in the success of our plan. She spoke to the angel, surprising her daughter. Monica said, Mom, did you plan all this from the beginning? The fall of Khan and the death of Icarus, was this all part of your plan to conquer all the universes? Asked the angel, confused about her mother's words. Sonia said, No, my daughter, I didn't plan any of this. But according to the latest events, I already know what I'll have to do. I just need that mortal who claims to have received Zeno's power to come to me, and only then will victory be for the angels, said the mother of angels as she looked out the window at the landscape. Monica said, How will you beat the one who has the power of the supreme being of all universes, my mother? Even though he didn't have all of Zeno's power, a portion of his power could erase all universes and all living beings in the universes. She spoke to the angel, in doubt about how her mother could defeat the mortal who has Zeno's power. Sonia said, Don't worry, my daughter. You will learn everything at the right moment. And apparently that moment is very close said the mother of angels while she looked out the window and saw a portal being formed, and from it, a being of celestial appearance was coming out, something that made the mother of angels break into a huge smile. In front of the place where the angels were, a portal had been created. This alerted all the angels. From this portal, Son Goku left in his form where he had access to Zeno's power. Seeing the Saiyan and not Khan, the angels advanced against the Saiyan, but Goku with just the swing of his arm caused all the angels to be knocked out immediately and soon after Goku went to the place where Monica and Sonia were. But when arriving at the place, Goku felt a huge weight on his body, and at that moment Sonia started to laugh. Sonia said, It was easier than I imagined. Looks like I won, my daughter. The angel spoke, looking at her daughter Monica, while both saw the Saiyan who had Zeno's power, on his knees before the two angels. Goku said, What have you done to me? asked the Saiyan with a slightly altered voice, because of his transformation. Sonia said, Simple. I created a restriction technique to seal Zeno's powers. Now I just need to kill you and drain your power. And you know what the best part is? There's no one who can stop me right now," said the mother of angels with a big smile on her face as she approached the Saiyan. Monica said, so this was your plan, my mother. The lady planned to steal Zeno's power for the lady and thus conquer everything and even kill Zeno himself, said the angel impressed with her mother's genius. Goku said, even if you restrict me, you wouldn't be able to kill me easily. After all, I'm not alone, said the Saiyan watching Sonia and Monica leave the place because a big explosion had happened. Soon it was possible to see Sonia and Monica side by side, and then Goku who appeared on the spot with Vegeta, who was using the power of Ultra Ego in his most powerful state, next to Goku. Vegeta spoke, Not even with Zeno's power did you stop being such an idiot to fall for plans as simple as those of your enemies, Kakarot, said the Prince of Saiyans to his rival. Goku said, I didn't expect her to have a plan to defeat me, but I knew you were coming. Thanks to that, I let my guard down. By the way, I thought you were going to kill her with your attack, but you didn't, said the Saiyan, looking at his rival who snorted irritably. Vegeta said, she managed to escape my blow, but even if I hit her, she still wouldn't die. She is the mother of angels, and she won't be killed easily, said the Saiyan while looking at Sonia, who was very irritated. Sonia said, 
I tried to defeat Son Goku using a strategy, but now it's time to use the old brute force, said the angel creating a great blast of energy and shooting against both Saiyans, Goku and Vegeta, who have forced to dodge the attacks of the Mother of Angels. Goku and Vegeta looked at each other and waved, and together, the Saiyans advanced against the Mother of Angels, who created two huge energy dragons and shot at the two Saiyans who were forced to face the dragons. But because Goku and Vegeta had a huge force, they managed to destroy the energy dragons easily, advancing again against Sonya. Both Saiyans had managed to get close enough to Sonya, but Sonya had disappeared, and Vegeta and Goku ended up hitting each other. None of them understood why that had happened until they saw Monica using her space manipulation powers to create portals restricting both Saiyans' movements. But soon as the portal came together and formed a dimensional barrier, seeing the barrier, Goku and Vegeta united their powers and destroyed the barrier. But in doing so, Goku and Vegeta ended up receiving a pillar made of energy. Only that pillar was draining the power of the two Saiyans. Vegeta ended up returning to his base form, and Goku became very weak, reverting to his base form as well. Sonya said, Looks like I won. She spoke to the angel with a big smile on her face. Goku said sorry, but we were the ones who won. You thought this whole time that it was me and Vegeta who would defeat you, but in reality, ye will be responsible for defeating you, said the Saiyan while looking up. And when he did, Sonya and Monika looked up in the same direction and saw the Daishinkan alive and stronger than ever. The Daishinkan spoke. It will not be this time that you will dominate all the universes, my dear wife Sonya, and from what you see I'm alive very very much alive and this time i'm even stronger than when our son killed me the high priest spoke as he floated and landed on the ground sonia said how how are you alive said the mother of angels in a tone of pure fury the daishinkan spoke the super dragon spheres my child wis and vados managed to gather them and use them to revive all the beings planets and things that our children had destroyed and with that i'm back to life about my increase in power, I received some of Zenosama's power, and now I'm even stronger, so I can eliminate you at once," said the High Priest while looking at Sonia and Monica, who was beside her mother. Sonia said, It doesn't matter anymore. Now I already have Zeno's power that I drained from that Saiyan, and the power of destruction from the God of Destruction that I drained that from, the other Saiyan. With that power, I will be able to kill you and Zeno. The Angel spoke while she looked at the High Priest. The Daishinkan said, Sorry, Sonia. But this has been planned for a long time. The High Priest spoke, and then Zeno's two bodyguards appeared on each side of Sonia. Soon Zeno's two bodyguards created two symbols in their hands, and with these symbols, the energy that was in Sonia's ended up being stolen by Zeno's guards. Seeing that Monica tried to do something, but Goku and Vegeta used the rest of their energy and shot the angel, knocking her out. Daishinkan spoke, The battle is over, Sonia, said the High Priest while facing the Mother of Angels, who was on her knees, powerless. One year later. It had been about one year after the death of the angels. The angels that did not die ended up being sealed once again. Only this time they had been sealed in a place where they could never be able to leave. And if they left, they would have to face some challenges. Creatures that were created by the Dashinkan to deal with these angels if that happened. After that great war against the angels, the universes took a while, but they managed to recover, and currently on planet Earth, it was possible to see that everyone was happy rebuilding the things that were destroyed by the angels. Vegeta said, Kakarot, you still can't transform into a Super Saiyan, asked the Prince of Saiyans while looking at his rival. Goku said, no, using Zenosama's power was too great for me. My body suffered a lot of wear and tear, and because of that, I can't transform. But from what the Daishinkan said, I must return to normal, one or two years from now at most. But until then, I won't stand still. So Vegeta, how about a training without transformations, said the Saiyan to his rival who just gave a smile. Vegeta said, okay. Let's face each other without transforming, said the Prince of Saiyans with a smile, and the two soon began to fly and fight in the air. With that, we'll end today's video. Leave a lot of likes in the video and comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you on another day, guys.